You're watching six on your side. An extremely rare disease kills four women in one Idaho town this year alone. Find out if you're at risk. And coming up, police cordon off downtown Meridian after an armed bank robber takes the money but leaves something behind. And still ahead, in custody. Police in London launch citywide anti-terror raids and say they've got their men. We'll have the latest from London. Six on your side at six starts now. A fatal and rare disease strikes Idaho in a cluster. Good evening and thanks for choosing Six on Your Side. I'm Don Nelson. And I'm Michelle Edmonds. There's no known cause, no known treatment. Five women have been positively diagnosed with creutzfeldt jakob disease in Twin Falls and Minidoka counties. Four of those women have died. There's also another unconfirmed case in the Boise area. Six on Your Side's Heather Scold spent time down in Twin Falls today to investigate this. Heather, this is so rare. It certainly is. You know, so severe that only one person per every one million worldwide every year are diagnosed with this disease and to have five women diagnosed with this uh, specifically in a concentrated time and a concentrated area has health officials on high alert it's concerning to us and that's why we are doing more investigation of this particular incident this incident is one big question mark for health officials the neurodegenerative disease is swift claiming its victims within one year of initial symptoms they begin with lapses in memory blurred vision sudden jerking and rigidity in the limbs followed by loss of movement and speech there are two primary forms of the disease one that strikes without any known ties the other linked to eating meats contaminated with mad cow disease while the investigation is just beginning scientists have no reason to believe the recent case Cases are associated with mad cow. Still, to have the disease strike all females is even more puzzling. Usually you will see a few more men than women with this particular illness. And it is very clear this is not usual. I mean, this, this is something very rare that's happening. There are only 300 sporadic CJD cases each year in the United States. And also, there's no telling why the women contracted this sporadic farm. As far as we can tell, they are not related. Yeah, we, we know the number, we know the sex, but we don't know who they are. So connecting the dots to see if there is a common denominator we just can't answer that question right now. Yeah, you know, it, it looks like it's coincidence right now. It could be correlated. Right now, they're investigating any sort of uh, any sort of lead that could link them together. It's really hard to tell. And one of the very frustrating things about this disease is, uh, you know, it was largely undetected until the early 90s. That's when mm -hmm. there was an outbreak of mad cow disease. Mm -hmm. Until then, you know, there's really no way of absolutely being sure that is the disease. The only way to know for sure is at the time of death at an autopsy. It's pretty bizarre. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Heather. Meridian Police close down streets after a bank robber leaves behind a suspicious package. Six on your sides. Michelle Stark is live in Meridian with the very latest on this breaking news story. Well, Don, things are definitely getting back to normal downtown here. You'll see traffic resuming uh, behind me. We're told by the Meridian Police Department that the Boise Bomb Squad has finished up inside the Idaho Independent Bank. Uh, they've cleared away the suspicious, suspicious package. Um, here is what the scene looked like earlier today after police issued kind of an evacuation. Uh, we're told that several dozens of people were kind of moved out of the area. Uh, police say that the man who robbed the bank had walked in, uh, showed the manager a gun, showed him a, the suspicious device, and then on his way out with the cash, left the suspicious device on a desk. That obviously gave him some time to make his getaway. Uh, now, police say it has been a very, very long day for them. A, a crime that has definitely impacted a lot of people, not just the customers of the bank or the employees of the bank. It has impacted uh, a great amount of people in, in the city. I spoke with a, uh, a police officer here who said that the, the suspicious package was actually made to look like a bomb, uh, but it was, again, inactive, so they cleared it away. The area is safe now. Uh, police just looking again for that suspect. They said it was a, a white male, uh, me medium height, but uh, so far, no strong leads. Michelle, we know that there's a Boys and Girls Club right down there. Were they evacuated? Yes, Michelle. Actually, uh, several people were evacuated. Uh, most, almost all of the restaurants and uh, other organizations around here. Uh, those particular children at the Boys and Girls Club were moved across the street to a church. Um, but again, police have given the all clear down here, so everything's kind of getting back to normal. That's good news tonight. All right, Michelle, thanks for the live report.
A Meridian business owner had front row seats during the event. Harry's Bar and Grill sits across the street from the Idaho Independent Bank. The owner says he believes that closing down the downtown core of Meridian on a Friday afternoon was unnecessary. Uh, you know what, the whole thing, like I said, total overreaction has become a complete and total fiasco. They've got the entire downtown part of Meridian blocked off. No one really seems to know why. The owner says they were offering special bomb squad beers in honor of the occasion. More arrests in England. The U.S. moves towards saving more time and protecting patients from doctors' mistakes. Those are the stories topping news from beyond Idaho. Siren signaling and arrest. British police have arrested three more men, but they're not saying if they're connected to last week's botched terror attacks. Some local media are reporting officers captured the men who tried to blow up a bus and a man pictured fleeing a subway station. The Italian government says police there have netted a fourth suspect in Rome. Just when you figured out that whole spring forward fall back thing. A bill that will make sweeping changes in the energy field is headed to the president's desk. It includes a measure to extend daylight savings time by four weeks. After a four-year stalemate, both houses of Congress have approved President Bush's energy bill. If the president signs the bill, our clocks will spring forward three weeks earlier and fall back a week later, starting in 2007. President Bush did put his name on another law aimed at reducing the number of medical mistakes today. More people die that way than in car accidents, breast cancer, or AIDS. Some critics say, though, the bill is not strong enough to help reduce the number of patients injured or deaths from medical mistakes. An injured Napa soldier is coming home tonight. About two and a half months ago, Jason Beyer was severely injured when his tank was hit by a roadside bomb in Iraq. He lost a kidney and his arm was left uh, fractured. Doctors have been rebuilding his arm and his grandmother says his recovery is a miracle. She says he now faces a year of rehabilitation. A Napa City Councilman makes an announcement about his future. Bob Schmidt is running for mayor. He also said he's campaigning on, among other things, to help stop gang violence in Nampa. He says he's every gang-related shooting that occurs is one too many. I don't think we're being aggressive enough against it. We're not speaking out as a city. We're not saying we're not going to tolerate this anymore. And I think it has to come from the top down. That has to be something that we feel and we believe in as a city. And if I'm elected mayor, we will do that, I can assure you. Schmidt says he also wants better communication between Nampa and Canyon County and a better long-term plan for the city. Attorneys for a teen convicted of killing her parents have filed a tort claim against Blaine County. This summer, Sarah Johnson was convicted of shooting her parents to death in their Bellevue home in 2003. Her attorney says while she was awaiting trial in the county's jail, she was raped by a male inmate and that the sheriff's office was responsible for that. Sarah Michael, the chair of the Blaine County Commissioner, says the case is still under investigation and has no comment at this point. Build a bridge and they will come. Motorists, that is, and hopefully. There's a new deal between Ada County Highway District and the Harris Ranch property owners to build an East Park Center Bridge. The agreement keeps both sides out of court. The move could jumpstart developments in the Barber Valley and ease traffic on Warm Springs. The greatly needed project in our community and it was just through that desire to want to get it done that we moved forward and were able to get it done. The agreement calls for a four-lane bridge over the Boise River. The project will cost more than $10 million. Construction expected to start in 2008. The Boise Police Department is reassessing officers to patrol the streets. The officers had been assigned to neighborhoods, mounted horse patrols on the Greenbelt, and schools. They'll now be new starting their new patrols next month. The department says the move will help them deal with the city's growing population. An Idaho wildfire has doubled in size. The Snake One fire has grown to 5,600 acres since last night. It's burning 21 miles northwest of Weezer. Crews have 10% of it contained. The fire is burning tall, dry grasses in the steep terrain of the Snake River Canyon. It started after a thunderstorm moved through the area which started the trees on fire. Help fill a bus to fight hunger. The Canyon County Hunger Coalition has set up shop at the Canyon County Fair. Their goal is to fill a small school bus with over 1,600 pounds of canned food. They're asking for your help. Bring your food down here. We need to feed all these people. We want to get all the kids fed so that they're not going to be hungry anymore. We want to fill up our barrels so that we can fill up our school bus and then just distribute it through all our food pantries so that the people who don't have a place to make their food can just come and eat. 
All the food donated at the fair will stay in Canyon County. Organizers want to remind you, you can always donate canned food at any food pantry in the area. Great way to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, Idaho 10th graders doing a lot better when it comes to reading. Well, what that means for graduation, we'll tell you what that's all about. And an Idaho company is getting a new owner. We'll tell you who when Six on Your Side returns. Hot temperatures producing lightning across portions of Idaho. That may last for a while. A view from the Albertson Six in Your Side Tower Camp from the top of the Grove Hotel shows gusty winds still blowing in downtown Boise. We'll talk about what you can expect for your holiday, your, I should say, your weekend plans. That's coming up shortly in weather. During Patio Pleasure's Summer Clearance Sale, every summer product must be sold now, including all spas, casual furniture, and pool tables. Plus, you'll get no payments, no interest for 12 months. Slate pool tables are clearance priced from just $12.99. Top brand spas are priced from just $24.99. Overstocked outdoor aluminum casual furniture sets are priced from $5.95. Plus, get no payments, no interest for 12 months during the Summer Clearance Sale, only at Patio Pleasure's. Scott K. exclusively from Lee Reed, Idaho's diamond jeweler. Cucumber eye treatment, $45. Avocado hair infusion, 72 bucks. Citrus extract pedicure. Oh, you folks ought to shop at Albertsons. You could be saving a fortune on this stuff. This week at Albertsons, fresh boneless petite sirloin steaks, $2.97 a pound, any size package. Fresh raspberries, blackberries, or blueberries, two containers for $3. And get 50% off select varieties of Stouffer's or Lean Cuisine frozen dinner entrees. Oh, no thanks. I've got my own. Albertsons, helping make your life easier. At Ross, you'll find the looks he likes, the looks she likes, at prices everyone likes. Way less than you pay at the mall. You've got the look I like, I like the way you look. Ross, there's no comparison. It seems all Idaho 10th graders are doing better in school. Good. That's according to new results released today. The State Board of Education unveiled this spring's Idaho Standards Achievement Tests. It suggests minority groups are doing better. We're starting to see some, some uh, progress in closing the gap between some of the uh, minority groups and, and the white groups in terms of their performance, uh, specifically the Hispanic and the uh, Native American groups. So. Idaho 10th graders must be proficient in reading, math, and language usage in order to graduate. A Treasure Valley Electronics business is being sold to a California company. Extended Systems announced it signed a $71 million deal with Sybase. The deal is expected to close late fall or early winter. Extended Systems was founded in 1984 in Boise and has 180 employees in North America and Europe. On the stock watch, the Dow lost 65, the Nasdaq dropped 14. Here's a look at Idaho's top stocks. Macy's reinvent your home sale, the newest and best cookware and electrics. Inspiring ideas for your bed and bath. Going on now, Macy's way to shop. The Ford family is growing larger. Don't be left out. At Meridian Ford, you not only get family plan prices, but you get all of the factory rebates too. Every penny. What are you waiting for? With Ford family plan prices and factory rebates, you can get a 2005 F-150 crew cab for an amazing 26660. And at Meridian Ford, you can save almost $11,000 on a new 05 Expedition Limited. They're just $39,353. Ford family plan prices and giant factory rebates. Now that's how you treat family. Meridian Ford, making friends since 1960. Possibilities. ATVs provide wonderful outdoor recreation, 
but they can also easily spread noxious weeds. I'm Roger Batt with the Idaho Weed Awareness Campaign. An ATV can pick up noxious weeds in one area and spread them to the next area in which it is being used. When you're finished riding, make sure your ATV is free of weeds and weed seed. Cleaning your machine is important in stopping the spread of noxious weeds like yellow star thistle. To find out how you can help prevent spreading weeds to wildlife lands, call this number or log on to our website. Avonlea's Hot August Night Summer Clearance Sale is here, and we've got some cool deals for you. Spring and Summer Yard Flags, 50% off. Sterling Silver Rings, 25% off. Magnetic Bracelets, 3 for $20. And Discontinued Italian Charms, only 99 cents. Spring Porcelain Dolls are 25% off, and Assorted Garden Decor is 50% off. For unique gifts, decor, service, and price, shop Avonlea Summer Clearance Sale, August 1st through the 20th. Avonlea, gifts of the heart for your home. This portion of Six on Your Side weather is brought to you by United Water. Life is greener when you water wisely. Now your True View forecast with Idaho's first AMS certified chief meteorologist, Scott Dorval. Well, expect hot temperatures to last through the weekend coming up. If you have outdoor plants, it's going to be hot just about everywhere except about 5,500 feet. Drop back down to the 80s and maybe even some upper 70s. And we still have the chance, like today, for some of those isolated showers and storms. In fact, here's a view from the Albertson Six Inner Side Tower Camp from atop the Grove Hotel. And looking at that crane south of Boise there working on the A Street Marketplace. And it always looks windier than it really is there because that's below. That's uh, oh, a good 150 feet at least above the ground. And so still breezy there, although winds were real gusty earlier. Temperature at 91 in Boise, Nampa, and Caldwell. Temperatures had dropped as winds were gusty, but now are beginning to climb just a little bit. In fact, current conditions show that we have an east-southeast wind in Boise at 18 miles per hour, so still breezy at the airport, not as bad. Downtown of the winds will probably become less and less, although we may have just a few puffs of wind, uh, some higher winds just a little bit later on this evening. Let's take a look at live Doppler 6, and you'll see our temperatures are still in the, again in the 80s and some 90s showing up, 82 in Twin Falls. How about Sun Valley? It was in the 80s earlier today, down to 57 degrees. Watch the temperature drop here over the last hour as uh, showers and storms have been moving through. So you've got a cool evening in store now for Sun Valley and lightning strikes. Hopefully the rains falling here will put out any fires that are started from some of these strikes. But we're getting strikes to the south and to the west. And look at this little line right here. That's gusty winds heading out of that storm system that came on through Boise. In fact, I'm going to look at that from our tower camp coming up in just a second. First of all, what about the lightning? Actually, let's go right to the forecast. How about for the weekend, for the mountains? Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, the threat for lightning does exist. And look at this, at 4,500 to 5,000 feet, still in the upper 80s to near 90. Lows in the 40s and 50s, you'll get some sunshine mixed with late-day clouds with a chance for a storm coming in. Here's the view from the tower cam. Again, looking to the south, notice the flag. If you look real close, it's blowing from west to east. I'm going to put this in motion and watch what comes in. From the southeast, here comes the dust cloud right there, and the flag shifts directions. Winds gusted up to 40 miles per hour, lowered visibilities down to a mile. And if you watch real quick here, as I put this in motion, you'll see the crane kind of moved to the right as they were working, kind of lost control for a second, but brought it back. Very low visibility, strong gusty winds, and even had a few drops of rain on the lens. Lots of lightning showing up today. This will be repeated for the next few days, and eventually the dry air will come in from the west. So your exclusive Magic Valley True View forecast for tomorrow and pretty much for Sunday as well. Similar, 89 to 95, a few drops of rain are likely. Maybe a brief heavy downpour and some locally gusty winds, but you're going to get some sunshine in there as well. Our Central Mountain forecast calling for temperatures, generally speaking, in the 80s. Now, the valley conditions tomorrow will be right around 100. Same thing on Sunday. A late-day storm still possible and staying in the 90s for the next five days and even the next 10 days we're talking about temperatures maybe even above 100 next week. Don Michelle, more hot weather and probably more lightning strikes. Looks that way. Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. Will Henneke and for Joe Hughes. And Boise Hawks are in town, what, through Sunday? It's going to be hot. Mm -hmm. Breezy conditions can make for some fun times out at the park. <laughs> well, you get those true. fly balls blowing around. Yeah. You get mm -hmm. infielders running this way, infielders running that way, trying to track down the ball, outfielders trying to track down fly balls. It uh, <laughs> can definitely make things fun out at the park. The Boise Hawks continuing to roll. We'll talk about the surging baseball team that calls the Valley home. And we'll get you caught up on some basketball players with local ties who didn't spend their summer Summer float in the river. Six on your side sports is next. Tonight, 2020 unlocks the secret lives of children and the dark, dangerous games they play when adults are out of sight. Children, even as young as nine, and you just won't believe what they're doing for fun. Don't miss this 2020 tonight. Now, some people who listen to the river talk about the river. 
The river is more than just a radio station. You know, some good tips, some good information. It's kind of my way of keeping in touch with the community. New music, new ways of thinking. I always find out about the greatest things that are going on around town. Throwing a little bit of National Geographic, a little bit of Wired magazine, and butter it over with some Austin City Limits, and you have the river. It's music, and it's more than music. Listen to 94.9 The River. Regular summer, a more summer. It's a very special summer from more furniture for less. It's the Great Summer Sale. Sale prices throughout the entire store. Great summer savings on leather. Kids and teens, Simmons mattresses. Great sale prices at the Great Summer Sale. Plus, for the first time ever, we're giving away in-store instant rebates. The Great Summer Sale. Great summer savings at more furniture for less. It's great! Hey, Mr. Opportunity again. If you're one of those people who likes to have choices, then you are going to love my next two words. Honda Clearance. Because it's your opportunity to pick the Accord, Civic, Odyssey, or any other Honda you want for a deal that's very nice. Come on, Honda Plus Clearance? Do I have to draw you a picture? You get it? <laughs> the 2005 Honda Clearance. Now you can lease a top-of-the-line Pilot EX for $269 a month for well-qualified customers. I'm Mr. Opportunity. I'm back. And I'm knocking. If this is the kind of traffic you get at your house, you need to call or come by the Pergo Design Gallery. Pergo's a floor that'll hold up to dogs' toenails and kids' toys and dirty shoes, and just a damp mopping and it looks brand new. So if you're tired of having your carpet steam cleaned or cleaning vinyl on your hands and knees, come by the Pergo Design Gallery and check out our over 60 wood and tile designs. Our summer sale makes your new Pergo floor even more affordable. So call or come by the Pergo Design Gallery in Meridian. Sign up for your free estimate. You're watching Six on Your Side, brought to you in part by Michael's Furniture Showplace. Locally owned and operated for over 44 years, just off the connector at the River Street exit. Six on Your Side has the sports you cheer for. Here's Will Hedeke. The Boise Hawks now stand alone in first place of the Northwest League's East Division as they prepare for tonight's game against the Vancouver Canadians. Last night's win over the West Division leading Canadians, coupled with a Tri-City loss, gave sole possession of the top spot to the Hawks. On the other side, the Canadians have come crashing down, losers of five straight after they won 24 of their first 32 ball games. The cooling down has been accelerated by a suddenly surging Boise team. Talking with some of the guys in the, in the dugout, or whatever, it's, we're kind of trying to ask ourselves, you know, why, why is a record like, you know, how it is, and and uh, their stats aren't unbelievable, you know, with hitting or uh, or with pitching, but they just, you know, they just do the small things right to win ball games. So it's, it's uh, that's important to kind of show them, all right, we're here to play, we're gonna we're gonna compete and, and win some ball games. The Hot Hawks and the Cool Canadians tonight at 7.15. Highlights coming up at 10 o'clock. One of the Valley's most anticipated subplots for the upcoming high school football season is already over before it even had a chance to begin. Bishop Kelly star quarterback Cody Hawkins says he's going to walk on at Boise State. For those of you new to the area or who live under a rock, he's the son of BSU head coach Dan Hawkins. After a spectacular junior season leading the Knights to the 4A state championship, the race for Cody's services looked to be a wide open race including prominent schools like Oregon and Wisconsin, but in the end, a chance to play for dear old dad as a walk-on, turning down significant scholarship offers was too good for Cody to pass up. He begins his senior year at Bishop Kelly in about a month. Speaking of the blue and orange, former Boise State basketball star Jermaine Blackburn had a very good run at the NBA's Rocky Mountain Review this summer. The review is a summer league for rookie prospects and free agents hoping to catch the eye of NBA scouts. Seems Blackburn did just that, playing for the Seattle Supersonics in in the league, averaging seven points per game. Now he'll have to wait and see if the Sonics or another team come calling with an invitation to training camp. Also suiting up for the Sonics was former University of Idaho and Idaho Stampede player Keneal Dickens. Keneal has already had a cup of tea in the NBA last season. Like Blackburn, Dickens averaged about seven points per game in the Rocky Mountain Review for the Sonics. Another player with local ties who had a strong showing in the NBA Summer League is former Idaho Stampede star Sam Clancy. Clancy averaged 15 points 
points per game for the New Jersey Nets in the Las Vegas Summer League, also chipping in six rebounds per game. The big fellow was the CBA's most valuable player as a member of the Stampede last season and is a very strong bet to land somewhere in the NBA this upcoming season. Regional youth baseball tournaments continue tonight around the Valley as host Meridian is playing in the 12-year-old Cal Ripken Regional Tournament right now at Fuller Park in Meridian. Also, host team Nampa in action tonight at 8 o'clock at Rodeo Park in the 13 to 15 year old Pacific Northwest Babe Ruth Regional Tournament. Also tonight, the Monsters of Destruction Monster Trucks out at Idaho Motor Speedway. They get going around 7 o'clock off of Highway 16 on Chaparral Road with another show tomorrow night at 7. So if baseball ain't really your cup of tea and watching cars run into each other and mash stuff yeah. is, head out Highway 16 towards Emmett, take a left on Chaparral Road and you'll be there. The ground will be shaken. shaken. Thanks, Bob. We'll be right back. This portion of Six on Your Side is brought to you by Champion, helping make your house more like a home. This is the biggest, most incredible, most stupendous Champion sale ever. I'm overselling this, aren't I? Okay, let's try this. Champion quality, sale prices. Huh? Save 40% on Champion windows and siding and up to $2,000 off patio roof. Plus, receive an extra bonus from the prize wheel with your purchase, like a free garden window, patio furniture, Apple iPod, and more. Champion quality lasts a lifetime. Unfortunately, the sale doesn't. Hurry. I'm Kevin Burleson. Come in this weekend and let us show you how easy a home improvement project can be. Did you find a shirt for the wedding? Yeah, it's on sale. It's Macy's reinvent your home sale with sensational savings on our entire stock of furniture. Every living room, every dining room, every bedroom, every rug and more. Plus no payment or interest for 12 months with your Macy's Star Rewards card. Macy's reinvent your home sale going on now. Macy's way to shop. United Water reminds you to water your lawn deeply and less often so more water soaks into the root zone. If your lawn partially dries out before watering again, it actually stays healthier. A conservation tip from United Water. Life is greener when you water wisely. Hey, Carl here with Superior Satellite. Just finishing up the fourth install for today, which is, I like to think, bringing life to four fresh little satellite dishes. They're like my own little children. Yeah. That's sort of creepy, isn't it? Call now and get Dish Network with over 60 all-digital channels, including HBO and Showtime, for only $19.99 a month for three months. That's right. Get all your favorite programs for only $19.99 a month. Call Superior Satellite now for next day installation. Pain can take away the good times. You hurt and it's just no fun. Relief is just a phone call away. Story Chiropractic can help you get back to enjoying life's moments. Stop the pain, start the fun. Call Story Chiropractic today, 345-2211. During Patio Pleasure's Summer Clearance Sale, every summer product must be sold now, now, including all spas, casual furniture sets, and slate pool tables. Plus, get no payments, no interest for 12 months, only at Patio Pleasure's. Did you just get home? Here's your rush hour recap. It has been called a human form of mad cow disease. Now five people in Twin Falls have tested positive in the last seven months. Experts say this kind of cluster is extremely rare. Meridian came to a standstill after an armed robber left a suspicious package in a bank. Happened only a few hours ago. He got away with cash. And all four London July 21st bombing suspects now in custody. Two bombing suspects picked up during a raid in London, another in Rome, and the fourth was already behind bars. Tonight's ABC's 2020 comes here to the Treasure Valley to report on a story every parent needs to hear. 13-year-old Chelsea Dunn from Nampa died in her bedroom in April. Her parents say she was playing a deadly game. Was she hanging from the closet? Mm -hmm. With the belt door mm -hmm. around her neck? From the door of the closet. Tonight, 2020's Deborah Roberts investigates how children are dying from self-asphyxiation. That comes your way tonight at 9 o'clock. And some updates on some fires, Scott. That's right. The Double Mountain Fire in Mount Here County. We mentioned it. Here's the location. It's about 10 miles west of Adrian, 15 to 20 miles south of Vail. Now up from 1,200 acres to 7,000 acres. And wild, erratic winds are causing this fire to mm. expand. We'll keep you posted and update you tonight at 10. Okay. We'll see you then. Good night.